everybody welcome back to the channel it's me Esley's gaming also known as silent night in Dovus so this is basically part two of my paper and ink dungeon videos uh, in this video I will be doing the King Imagami dungeon also called ink from the paper and ink um, I'm pretty much gonna make this commentary short for this video uh, because most of the things that are important to know about this dungeon uh, I also mentioned in my previous video uh, from the opposite dungeon. I will be linking that video in the description below so if you haven't watched that I highly advise you to watch that first before watching this video. Because both of these dungeons are basically the same, uh, but the opposite. So everything that you need to know is also mentioned in that video and can be applied in this dungeon as well. So the only difference between uh, this dungeon and the other one is that the monsters are opposite. So for this dungeon you have the monsters from the paper area, so the white monsters and once they reach their HP threshold they will spawn the opposite monster from the ink area. Like mentioned before the boss has multiple HP thresholds as well and once they reach you, you will get the allied boss from the opposite area which will help you in the fight. Now both uh, dungeons have the clean hands challenge which isn't that hard honestly but I didn't do it for this fight because I just needed to complete it for the quest for spotted dofus so I just decided to do a quick run uh, through the dungeon uh, I will definitely do the achievements later when I get uh, when I got the time and the motivation to do it now impertinence for this dungeon might be a little bit tricky so I have to see how I will do that. Gotta do it with a close combat team most likely. Uh, or maybe a double panda and corner myself on the bottom of the map. So yeah but that's something for later so. But yeah for this dungeon as well uh, playing with a ranged team makes it very very easy actually. Uh, honestly I thought this one uh, out of the two dungeons was a lot easier for me uh, maybe it is because of the map because uh, this area where my panda is at the moment it's a pretty small area with only two cells white so I noticed that in the end when I was at wave two or three that monsters would like clutch up in like the small area and they couldn't actually pass uh, and go to me so I didn't get overwhelmed that quickly just not like in the previous dungeon so honestly I think this one is easier than the one before the only thing that is a little bit harder to control is the allied summon you get the 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 area of which you have the damage spell is a little bit weird diagonally uh, but only starting at two cells so it's like kind of weird to get used to especially because like I said in a previous video you only have like 15 seconds to play it so gotta get really used to that uh, that new AoE but yeah uh, like I said uh, I go more in depth uh, about the dungeons in my previous video so if you need like a more in-depth explanation about how these dungeons work I highly suggest watching that video uh, and then come back to this one now the next video I will be uploading is gonna be about the end fight of spotted dofus so if you are watching this video and you are currently working on your spotted dofus questline Make sure to subscribe to the channel because the next video I will be uploading is about the tactical combat that you have to do at the end of the Spotted Dovus questline. And it is a very tricky fight, especially if you are not that tactical uh, and you have a hard time with those fights. Uh, it is very tricky and I will be going more in depth on how that fight works. And I will be taking you guys with me uh, 
through that fight and explaining you guys how that works and how you can do it as well. So if you like this video, uh, please leave a like, uh, also subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you guys for watching, enjoy the rest of the fight and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!